As a relationship expert for over 10 years, I've helped thousands of people to recover after an affair. Whether they decide to heal and move on on their own journey, or whether I help couples to rebuild the trust, the connection, and get into a good place again, or whether I help the person that's cheated to understand why they've done this and to get to the root of the triggers so that they can then rebuild the trust and learn from their mistakes. So healing a relationship, healing yourself after being cheated on. The first and the most important step is to rebuild your self-esteem, to really know that you are enough, that you are lovable, that you are sexy, that you are interesting, and that you are attractive. Because so often, when a person has been cheated on, they can feel like, I'm useless, I'm worthless, I'm not good enough. Why have I been so rejected? What's wrong with me? How could this happen to me? How could I be so stupid not to see it? And it can really affect someone's confidence. I know when I was cheated on, I felt like, am I dull? Am I boring? Am I rubbish in bed? Am I, you know, all of these negative thoughts were flooding my mind. And in order to heal, I was like, Nicola, you need to stop these and you need to start feeling good about yourself. So feeling good about yourself is one, making sure that there's absolutely zero negative self-talk. The second step is to do actions to make yourself feel good. Whether that's buying a new lipstick, putting on some high heels, going to the salon, whether that's doing positive meditations. I create a lot of hypnotherapy um, for people who have gone through an affair to feel good about themselves, to be able to feel at peace, to be able to trust again, to be able to release the past and move forward. So flooding your mind with positive thoughts, also very crucial. And then deciding what you want next for yourself in regards to your relationship. Do you want to forgive? have a great marriage, have a great life with that person? Do you want to take your time to weigh up your options? Do you want to move on and create a new exciting life for yourself where you rediscover who you are and what you want? These are the steps that you need to work out. First of all, deciding that you're going to love yourself and boost your confidence and self-esteem. The second is deciding what you want from your relationship. Are you going to stay and rebuild? Are you going to move on and rebuild? What's important to you? And if you're stuck, it's really great to get some support to work that out and to really also focus on your health. Getting a good night's sleep, eating well, avoiding things that trigger anxiety, trigger low self-esteem and making sure that you're really putting your best self forward. And by that, I mean treating yourself, which I always say with, to people, like you've got the flu, like you're unwell, like being kind to yourself. If you lack concentration, if you're not as good with your children, if you're not as focused at work, give yourself a break. We're not superhuman, we're human, which means we get affected by our emotions, which means some days our best is up here and some days our best is here and that's okay. Being gentle with yourself, being kind with yourself, these are how you heal. And you can't just avoid your emotions. Many people say, I just don't want to feel, Nicola, I don't want to feel anything. Shall I go to the doctors and get loads of drugs to sleep or antidepressants and things? And, you know, you've got to speak to your doctor about that. I can't advise you. But what I will say is people that go through the emotions, that feel, that release, that cry, that experience them, they can then get out of it and they heal much quicker than someone that tries to avoid their emotions. Now, if you're a person that's still healing from the affair and you're stuck, you're trapped in those emotions and you're only in those emotions and you're stuck in them, then please do get some help because our emotions are there for us to go through. I help people with anger, sadness, fear, hurt, guilt, regret, revenge. It's okay to feel these feelings but you don't want to be stuck in them where they become your daily experience. So whatever you're doing right now, take some steps on your healing journey. Do something and please 
Do not wait for time to heal. So many people, they wait for time to heal them. And they come to me months later, years later, after cheating an affair has happened, and they're still stuck. All time does is pass. It doesn't cure anything. It doesn't heal anything. It's actions that you do in that time. So please be sure to take some actions to heal yourself, to heal your relationship if you decide to stay in your relationship rather than staying stuck. From my heart to yours, thank you so much for watching. To get more information on my programs and working with me, visit nicolabeer.com. And if you're not in my Facebook group, search Nicola Beer Relationship Advice in Facebook groups. It will be so wonderful to connect with you there.